And Rick, how long are the odds for somebody like him in your mind? Well, he's seven two with great hands and a great touch. Um, you know, he's got a he's got a chance, and he's going to have a lot of support here. Um, you know, the decision to to basically make him a D leaguer initially is is a very good decision, and he's he understands he's he likes it. He's willing to do it. Um, he needs experience playing over here. He's been doing a lot of training, but it's you know being in the gym training is not the same as playing game action. You know against uh, NBA caliber guys in the D League. You know there's a lot of them, so um, he'll have a great opportunity. Um, you know guys like this, you know this size and with his the softness uh, softness of his hands and his footwork aren't growing on trees. Yeah, there's a lot of people calling me like it's, I don't know. I can I don't know about a lot of people, but he even call me. I have give my numbers. I don't know about everyone calling me. <laughs> That's why I, I, I change my number, then I said go talk to my agent and uh, to my coaches in in uh, IMG and maybe in India. Just follow over there. Thanks. Satnam, do you feel like you're an ambassador for your country or is it just about basketball? Um, now I'm just focused on my basketball, and uh, because I know we in India, like a lot of people, we're a lot better. But now it's very important to focus on my now this game because I have I play for like summer league now, and it's very important to focus on here to learn more something that we have. I have a great team, I have great players, great coaches, and a great opportunity. Make sure it's very important to focus here. Same question. You know that there's a large community of a uh, large Indian community here. Have you found? Uh, a place to get home type food, uh, Indian food? Uh, what, uh, are you enjoying North Texas so far? I think uh, <coughs> in, uh, over here, like a lot of Indian, and uh, a lot of people touch with you, like on my Facebook, a lot of people send messages. And uh, everyone said to come to my home and uh, go Indian food like that. I had no, yeah, not, nothing, yeah. But I'm with the last five years, I'm staying here in America. And when I go back home, I go eat food over there. I am never eat food here because it's not good, but it's not like my home food. It's my not, not home home food, and uh, I'm just working for my American food like that. And uh, I think it's a lot in India. I'm sure last couple couple of weeks, everyone killed me over here. It's like too many people, too many people follow me now. How comfortable are you sitting out there on the perimeter hoisting up jump shots? I think I'm comfortable because I feel like it's not a normal people that will shoot like that, and I never feel like really Barely on shooting anything, but it's fine. I got it. Satnam, is there a way for you to, to describe to us how big a deal this is back in India? Like, uh, to tell how big a deal this is back in your home country? It's a big deal in India because it's like a, a lot of people, you know. I got lost you know, when I go draft to NBA, then it's like my coaches tell me, it's, a, it's over here, like only play now. Now you focus on basketball everywhere. everywhere. And no more kicking, no more, no more anything game, just only basketball now. Well, um, uh, a, a lot of those Indian fans are my neighbors and very, very dear friends, and there's been an absolute outpouring. Um, uh, you know, I've never been to India. Um, we're definitely going to be going probably very soon, um, but it's a country that's underdeveloped in terms of basketball. Uh, there's a huge opportunity over there, and to have Satnam as this historic figure that is truly building a bridge between uh, one billion people on the other side of the planet and our country here, and especially North Texas, is just very unique. It's very special, and it's going to bring our countries and um, our peoples closer together.